Hi there, Natalie Mirabelli of NM Interiors, and I'm excited to share with you some warmer color trends that I want to talk to you about today. So before I do that, I thought an excellent way to um, explore color trends is through my e-design service that I've always offered to clients. It isn't something that I've done just through pandemic times, and that's because I've always believed in being all-inclusive. I also recognize that a lot of my peers have different opinions on this, and I respect everyone's business model. I will say the reason why I've always offered it is because I believe that everyone should have access to design. Having said that, I will say it isn't a large part of what I do. I will recommend to most clients, especially if their project is more involved, like a renovation or especially a home build, that the on-site consultation and more involved type of services that a design professional offers is the best route to take. Uh, E-design process is really best suited for someone that lives in a more remote area, or perhaps has a limited budget and is asking a very specific question. In those instances, the e-design service can be a really great building block or a really great tool to get a very specific answer or take on a more independent approach to design services. Where e-design really is helpful is when you're looking to do something specific like color consultation. So in this case, I'm going to be talking about some really great color trends for 2020 and uh, having this tool with me. This is Color Trends presented by Benjamin Moore. This is one of my favorite partners because they have really great marketing tools and whenever I'm working with color and recommending paint to clients, I find that Benjamin Moore has really great resources that I can share with clients so they can really get a good sense of what things will look like on their walls. Uh, I also really love the uh, colorways that they have available and this year in particular I'm very excited that a lot of the movement is working away from the grays and getting into warmer tones like I'm wearing today. So in this case I am going to give you a rundown of something that I worked on in e-design and it all started with this particular rug, the Magnolia Home Devon by Leloy. And I also learned that this is available through Lazy Boy in Canada. And that was a learning curve even for me. I definitely hadn't been into a Lazy Boy in a very long time. And it's more than just recliners. It's changed quite a bit. These rugs come in at a great price point. And a lot of times when you see a finished rug, you forget about how much artisan, how much work goes into making a rug. So these are quite spectacular. This uh, particular rug, is in the sunset indigo color it's very vibrant in person it's a very special piece and the client purchased the rug based on this particular um, visual that she had seen online now I actually like the room very white but in her particular space the room is uh, smaller and it's a den and doesn't have the, the higher ceilings but she wanted it to be very moody uh, a lot more sort of cozy and wanted to look at different colorways that are not white specifically. So having said that, we worked on potential palettes and in chatting with, with her, she was so happy with the recommendations and said, you should share this with everyone. So here I am sharing this with you all and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to give you a sneak peek on some of the things you can anticipate for the fall and some trends to come and I think these these colorways are something that you could work into your own space above and beyond this particular rug. I will say as a tip and something that I recommend to all clients whenever possible is if you're working on a room I actually like to try to do the paint last whenever possible. You've heard me correctly. A lot of times people try to paint their entire house first but in my experience, there's thousands of colors on a color wheel. And if you know what you're working with in terms of your upholstery, especially a rug where there's really intricate details, you can pull out the most complimentary colors for your wall at the end. So whenever possible, I will work on the furnishings and all the details first, and then at the end, I will firm up the paint. I know it doesn't always go that way, but whenever possible, that is what I try to do. 
So having said that, some of my tools, this was the type of flooring, this was the type of tone that we were working with. So this is something that I pulled up to help me work on the palette. And we had a couple of options for the walls throughout. This is AF60 Peau de Soie. This was the lightest neutral. Again, a warmer sort of flesh undertone. Not your cream. It had a slight sort of flesh undertone. Really love it. This is where we're going with things. The 2020 color of the year was called First, I think it's called First Light, I believe. Uh, a little bit more pinky. Uh, things are getting warmer, a lot of blush undertones. Really, really quite love this. This was one option. And then for a mid-tone taupe, she also wanted to see a mid-tone taupe. We looked at AF100 Peshmina. I really do like this one from Benjamin Moore. It's very versatile. It changes quite a bit depending on the light and time of day. So we also put this one up on the wall. And what I like about Benjamin Moore is they actually sell test pots. So you can actually put up a few swatches and take a look at what things look like at different times of day. You can also paint a small piece of cardboard and move that around different areas of the room or the house if you're painting a larger area to get a sense. And then my third recommendation uh, was kind of more out of left field for the client, but I really wanted her to take a look at it. And it's actually where we landed. I'm gonna sort of give it away. It's called Smoke 212240. And this was really different and unexpected. She ended up loving it. Uh, it is a uh, blue with a gray undertone and I felt that it just cooled down the warmth of the rug. Now I know I'm talking about decorating with warmer tones but sometimes in doing so and doing so well you want to counterbalance your colors. So having said that I am still bringing in the warmth with the rust. I'm going to show you that in a minute but by having this on the walls and then doing something fun with the warm rust we brought in this color in the ceiling. So Firenze AF225 for your ceilings. This is really bringing out that sunset tone in the rug. And this is what I recommended for the ceiling. Then you can paint out your trims uh, a deeper tone. This one is AF235 Warmed Cognac, also from the Affinity series, Benjamin Moore. And then this one is called Masada AF220, also deeper. So a lot of times when you're playing with tones, and you get warmer tones with the lighter tones. You really get a gorgeous play on things. Sorry, this may not be, but uh, I really loved how that just played with the rug and brought in some warmer tones that we haven't seen in a long time. I think that this is really quite refreshing and a really great way to change up our decor and you can also bring this through with the accents. Another big trend that I think we're going to see a lot more of is it's not that I don't love white trim but I do think it's quite refreshing as well to start painting our, our trims different colors especially in a more contained space like a a den. Uh, even doing something like a high gloss or a lacquer can really expand a space and be quite spectacular. I would even do an entire space in the deep cognac, the warm cognac and lacquer. I think it would be spectacular with this rug. I know it takes a little bit more confidence. It would be uh, Definitely something I would recommend a professional to carry through in terms of executing, but I would say that this is something I would highly recommend. Again, this is something that I wouldn't necessarily recommend through e-design. I would say working with a professional and having professional trades come in to perform the actual work would be best. Again, in terms of budget and if the budget permits, another thing I would perhaps integrate if it was possible is maybe doing the ceilings in a natural wallpaper like a grass cloth instead. Philip Dreff Freeze is one of my favorite suppliers right now. This is from their Diamond Weave collection. This one's called Savannah Sunset. Again that natural rust. This could be stunning on the ceiling. This one is from their Leo's Lux Linen collection called Sunset Boulevard. A little bit of a shimmer. It's gorgeous. Or if we wanted to play up the navy, this one is from their Sanctuary collection. It's called Tranquility Blue. There's that little bit of the indigo border on the rug. That could be really great for another dimension. So again, if budget permits, 
Even if you had the confidence, you could totally wallpaper a smaller space and you get a lot of wow factor. Uh, this is something that I think is more involved and quite special. The backs of a bookcase could be really great if you didn't have the budget to do an entire room or you wanted to have a small touch of something. I'm a big fan of wallpaper. It's something I love to do. Also on my list of, of things that I think are gonna be a huge, huge trend for the fall and I would keep going with. I think that this is something that actually goes beyond trends. I love wallpaper. I've always been a very big fan and I continue to use it in my designs. Uh, before I sign off, I know some people are big fans of Pharaoh and Ball. So I've done my conversion of what the color palette would be in Pharaoh and Ball. And for the Peau de Soie, it would be Dimity number 2008. For the Pejmina, it would be Drop Cloth, number 283. For the Smoke, it would be number 205, Skylight. And for the ceiling recommendation, uh, the main color would be Red Earth, number 64. And if you're gonna paint out your trims, uh, their, their deeper kind of cognac -y color, which is a little bit more red, would be Picture Gallery Red, number 42. And I know that uh, there's some people that love Pharaoh and Ball, and these would be the equivalent to the Benjamin Moores, in my opinion. I'll be sure to link everything up in my profile so you could find these uh, paint codes easily because I think it's a gorgeous palette and uh, some really great things. And then in terms of reupholstering or bringing some upholstery into the mix, these are all fabrics from Joanne Fabrics, some really gorgeous deep blues, the cognacs, gorgeous mohair, gorgeous velvets that are actually very heavy usage so they can take on some great durability and they're actually fiber guarded. Uh, this is actually a great pattern for pillows. You don't want to fight with your rugs, but there's a lot that you can do to refresh pieces that are existing in terms of getting more wear out of your existing pieces. I'm also a believer that you don't necessarily need to re replace everything if you're working on decor projects. That's another thing uh, with e-design or working on home decorating projects if you're working with someone is you don't necessarily have to replace everything in your home. A lot of times you can actually uh, breathe new life into pieces by simply recovering. So I'm here to tell you that warm is here. It's here to stay. It's not all gray. It's not all grayish. And uh, it's not that I have a problem with those colorways, but I do think we want to inject a little bit more warmth, a little bit more texture. I'm loving the wallpapers. I'm also a Hunter Douglas uh, authorized dealer, so whenever I can get some texture in, I love the woven woods with these rough um, colorways with these warmer textures. This is one of my favorite new applications for blinds. It's something I've been using for a long time, but they've implemented a lot more natural reeds, getting out of the whites, more into the ivories. They have some really great, more chic, uh, natural wovens that are less brown, but have more of the topes and the natural bamboos. And I'm really excited about those as well. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully we'll see some of these coming up in the fall and beyond.